Hey, it's Alan from Mobile. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your Samsung Smart TV to get ready for development with the Samsung SDK. So what we have here is a Samsung 2011 Smart TV. And I'm just going to open up the Smart Hub by selecting the Smart Hub button on the remote. And this is the Smart Hub interface which gives you uh, all of your applications. Now, in order to get ready for development on the Samsung TV, there's a few things you need to do to get ready for that. And the first one is, is we need to create an account on the TV. So the TV actually allows you to have multiple user accounts. So on the Smart Hub, we have down here these colored buttons, and the red A button is where we can actually log in. So I'm going to select A on the remote. And I've already set up my account here, but the, the first thing you need to do is set up your own account with your email address and your password. That's just something you have to do to get started with this. Uh, once you've done that, you actually need to create a second account. And let me show you why. So the way we get applications onto the TV is we go to the settings area, which is the blue D button. And if you notice, there's a few options here, uh, reset and properties. However, there's actually one more that's hidden, and that's for developers. And I'm going to show you how to get to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to hit the login button again, the red A, and we're going to create a new account. And this account is going to be the developer account. And it has to be a, a very specific name, develop, D-E-V-E-L-O-P. And of course we have to give it a password. I suggest something very easy. I'm going to use ones, six ones, one, 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 one. Next, we're going to confirm that password. All right, now that we have that set up, we're going to create the account. And we'll say yes, we want to create the account. And once it's created, I'm going to actually log back out here. So once it's created, the next time you come to the TV, you can actually go to this arrow right here and hit a drop down and it'll give you all of your accounts. Just select the develop account, enter the password. One, 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 one. Say OK. And I suggest you select remember my smart TV and password. So the next, this time when we log in, we're going to get additional features under the settings menu. So if we click settings, the blue D button, now we see we have a new feature here called development. And this is how uh, we're going to get applications on our TV through this particular menu. So I'm going to go to the development menu. And we have two options here, one for setting our server IP and to actually do the synchronization. Now the way this works is we're going to give it an IP address of an HTTP server we have running on, say, our laptop. And it's going to actually synchronize apps that are on the laptop with the TV. So my IP address is 10.1.10.35. I've gone ahead and entered that in. And now when I hit user application synchronization, I'm going to actually load all of the apps off of my laptop onto the TV. So what it's doing right now is it's actually installing them into Smart Hub. Now, one thing you must notice, I'm going to close these windows, one thing you should know is, at least on my TV, that when I do this, my apps don't show up. And I need to understand why that is. But the way to get to them is select B, sort by, and you can just sort by name. And the apps now will show up. So these are my user installed applications. I, I didn't put an icon for these apps just for testing. And you can always know that it's yours because it has a little user flag on it. And that's how to get your apps onto a Samsung Smart TV.